teams making it to the state championship games tonight in the WIA girls basketball state tournament. Nina, Notre Dame, Xavier, Laconia, and Lena all trying to earn those coveted golden ball trophies. We'll start in Division One. Nina, the Rockets facing Arrowhead, and early on, no shocker here, it was the Ali Isabel show. This three-pointer giving the Rockets an early two-point lead. Then the UConn commit going to hit the mid-range jumper, trying to bring her team their first state title since 1978. Zabel leading the Rockets with 14 points in the first half. Of course, this game is still going on right now. Nina trailing Arrowhead, though, 36-33 to early in the second half. All right, in Division II, the Notre Dame Tritons looking to make history, win their fourth straight state championship. Sydney Whitehouse, Madam President, facing the Tritons early on. Eight of NDA's first eight or ten points, excuse me. The Tritons are trailing by 11 here, but they came storming back. Gracie Gresh with the three. That was part of a 9-0 run. The Tritons down six at the half, and now under three to go. Kaya Waldrop, nice bucket down low. Then immediately after, Trista Feta coming up with a huge deal. And just like that, it is a one-point game, but that's as close as it would get. This block right here, just about sealing the win for Pewaukee, ending the chance for the Tritons to try and make history. 60 to 52 is the final hard-fought battle for the Tritons. An incredible run for their group of seniors. I was just really proud of our girls for how hard they fought. We got down a couple of times by I don't even know, 15, 16 points, and we fought our way back into the game. So they never gave up um, and just just couldn't get over that hump. There's so many people that don't even get the chance to go to state. Like, there's so many teams that lose first round. There's so many teams that don't get this opportunity, especially for us, for four years. So obviously it's not what we wanted, but we're very grateful to be here. All right, now we go to the Division Three championship. It was Xavier who reached the finals in comeback fashion. The rules, they were reversed today, though against Edgewood early uh, defense into offense right here. It's Carson Stempa leading that team, the team with 16 points while taking an eight point advantage at intermission. It was Hadley Vandehei, the sweet finish inside, but she got injured on her ankle in this game, slowing some momentum for the Hawks. The second half, Molly Martini with the three, yes indeed, but a 10-0 run by the Crusaders of the last four minutes would leave Xavier down by three in the final 30 seconds. El Cole, the only other Hawk in double digits, just can't get the bucket to tie to fall, and Xavier settles for the silver ball trophy, falling 55-52 in the D3 finals. We disrupted them first half, and as I like to say, punched them in the mouth, and they just, they didn't go down, gave it all we had. They had a lot of heart, we had a lot of heart, and I'm super proud of these girls. It's not, didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. We gave 110% the entire game. All right, now we have the D3 championship. Laconia looking to defend its state title, taking on Cuba City under six to play in the first half. The Spartans down by two. How about Calista Vandenberg knocking down the three from the top? That made it 16 to five Laconia. Later in the half, Molly Jewell gonna get the rebound here, puts it up for the bucket and one. The Spartans, they trailed Cuba City by four at the half. Now six minutes left to play. Peyton Morgan, she had two huge second half threes. This one was the second and it is nothing but net. That put Laconia up by two. Then a few plays later, the Spartans get back in transition quickly. It's duel again, this time for an easy layup. It was a back and forth game though. Laconia wins it though, 47 to 43 to become back-to-back -back D4 champs. Yeah, it was, it was awesome to, to get back-to-back -back state championships because, you know, you come in last year and, and you win one, um, and to win two in a row is 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 so tough to do um, because everybody's gunning for you the whole way. It's such a surreal feeling. Just like getting here in general is just amazing. But you know, when we come here as Laconia, we, we don't want to get second. We want to get that gold ball. In our first championship of the day, it was Lita taking on the co-op of Albany Monticello. The Wildcats up two with five minutes to play. Eva Brooks running the offensive rebound, drills that three ball. She had a game-high 21 points, 19 rebounds for the Wildcats. The lead now down to three with just over a minute left to play. Callie Fisher left open, and she drains it. That pushed the lead back to five. Ten seconds to play here, though. One last chance for the Comets, down by three. Abby Hollis drains the step back three with two seconds left. That ties the game, forcing overtime. Then in the extra session, Lena up two, and this looks virtually identical to the last highlight as Hollis drills another triple to give them the lead. Lena's last chance here comes up short to try and force a double OT. They drop a heartbreaker 57-54 in overtime. 
It's just a shame that there's got to be a loser in a game like that. Uh, that. There's only one goal ball to go around. I think our team left everything on the court. I'm very, very proud of them. It was unbelievable. I always say I never expected that we would get this far. I never wanted to talk about state because I didn't want to jinx it. I'm just so excited that I got to be a part of everything and I got to contribute to everything.